Hey everyone, it's Kimber Schaefer here for Rage in the Cage OKC News, and I am so excited about this fight card, Rage in the Cage 57. It's going down March 10th at the Oklahoma City Farmers Public Market. And Manuel De La Torre, you are on the fight card, fighting as a pro. This is going to be your, is it your third pro fight, correct? Yeah, my third pro fight. It'll be my third fight. Well, and unfortunately, at the last, um, I believe it was the last Rage in the Cage card, was it Rage 56 that you had your first loss as a pro? Yeah, I had my first loss at the last event. Uh, I got a little too caught up in working my stand-up, but uh, this time coming around, I'm making sure that I'm well-rounded. Been training on the ground, training on my feet. I'll be ready wherever the fight goes. So, and I just found out you're actually training with the Spoon Brothers, which they are, you know, top-notch as far as trainers here in Oklahoma. Both of them have had such great MMA careers here in our state. So, tell us a little bit about your training and what you've been doing since that loss. Uh, I've been uh, work definitely working my ground game more. Uh, just, I just started uh, doing wrestling with them, a little grappling, some jiu-jitsu, trying to get that all sharpened back up. And uh, I, I do a lot of training at home, do get some pad work in with my dad. I, I also go to the Y, do a little bit of I, – I never really weight trained too, many, too much for my fights before, but I just, I'm just i going up a weight class, so I'm lifting a little bit of weights now and just sit, trying to keep my cardio good, ground game, be all around it everywhere, anywhere the fight goes. Remind me a little bit about what made you want to get in the MMA in the first place. That's a question I always like to ask, and I don't think I've asked that since your amateur career in our interviews. Uh, I just, I've always kind of liked to fight as a kid, and uh, I started doing jiu-jitsu when I was younger and going and fighting at the tournaments, and then started training a little bit of MMA and had my first fight when I was 17. Yep. Sounds good. Now, you're still early in your pro career, but what are your long-term goals? Uh, same as everybody else, pretty much. I'd like to make it to the UFC. Just keep grinding, see where I can, see how far I can go. So you said you're going up a weight class. Is that since last fight? Yeah, the last fight. Uh, it was kind of a little bit of a little bit of a tough weight cut. I'm not making any excuses. I do want to rematch with Aaron Webb, by the way. But uh, yeah, I, I had kind of a tough tough weight cut. But uh, this time, I'm try to put on a little bit of muscle mass and see how I do at 55. Well, sounds good. So. Let's talk a little bit more about your training and preparation for this fight. We know you as a well-rounded stand-up fighter, like we've talked about before. A lot of the fights that I've seen you, we've definitely seen um, your stand-up. Let's talk about, you said you're tra training with the Spoon Brothers on your ground game as well, because the only two losses you've ever had, once in your amateur career and once in your pro, obviously, were submission losses. Yeah, I've been going over there. We work some wrestling, some jiu-jitsu, uh, get some pad work in with them. Trying to, uh, I've been lifting a little bit of weights, doing some squats and stuff with some weight. So try to get my legs stronger, working on my takedown defense. So that way I can be ready wherever the fight goes. Sounds good. And anything that I didn't ask you that you want the fans out there to know or any shout outs? No, I'd just like to give a shout out to 3D Electric, Dreamscapes, uh, Roger Williams Tattoos, all my sponsors out there, Joe Bob Bail Bonds. Shout out to all my people out there in Fullerton, California. And uh, I'm coming to do work March 10th. Sounds great. Hey, he's coming to do the work, guys. All you guys got to do is sit in the audience and watch it happen. So come out and support us all March 10th at the Oklahoma City Farmers Public Market for Rage in the Cage 57. You can get tickets from this guy right here, Manuel De La Torre. You can get them from any fighter on the card or, of course, at stubwire.com. And we hope to see you there.